Hey kids, we're back, this time with big fun, as we delve into the honestly twisted tale of Lord Bung and SCP Confinement. If you aren't already aware of this story, please wear your seatbelts because this is going to be a bumpy ride. Like, sub, let's go. Now this is an interesting story involving a lot of gamer words and it's hard to really know where to begin. Although I guess the best place to begin is with our main character, Lord Bung. Bung is a YouTube creator most famously known for creating the SCP Confinement series of animations on YouTube currently sitting with millions of views. Or at least it used to be currently sitting at millions of views because now his entire channel is gone. But how do we get here? In order to figure that out, you must cast your mind back to the beginning of this year to the quiet controversy. What was that, you may ask? To make a very, very, very long story short, just a few months ago, the YouTube creator, known as Quite, was accused of by someone who he was in a relationship with. Some kind of relationship which I don't fully understand. These kind of allegations obviously devastated Quite's reputation so much that he had to make an hour-long response video where he basically debunked all the claims and in fact made it so that the accuser was actually now known as the perpetrator. This perpetrator is someone called Orion who is actually the significant other of Lord Bung, our protagonist. Now this was obviously a very large story in the general internet earlier this year, however we were not going to get into the general implications Locations. Instead, we're going to focus on a specific perspective. You see, Lord Bung is someone who has spoken out in favor, in fact, in defense of Orion multiple times. So, obviously, when Orion was outed to be a liar, and not just a liar, but the actual perpetrator himself, it obviously did a serious number on Lord Bung's mental health. <laughs> Naturally, having that kind of thing happen would really change your opinion about a lot of things and a lot of people. In fact, I do believe that Orion was actually helping Lord Bung with his SCP series in the first place. For those of you who are unaware, SCP is essentially a kind of collaborative internet art project where people make games, short stories, art, and of course YouTube videos taking place in a special containment facility for fantasy creatures and Lovecraftian horrors. And although it's, you know, creepy and spooky, I do believe that most people actually enjoy it for the creative writing aspect of it all. And Lord Bung's project was simply a higher quality version of these stories. Or at least that's what the opinion of the community at large was, and you can tell by the massive popularity and huge Patreon success. Which is important because these days on the YouTube, it is very difficult to fund high quality quality creative original animations from AdSense alone, which is why the community support is necessary. Luckily for fans of this project, the community was 100% behind it. Everyone was gearing up and so excited to watch the next episode, episode 8. Let's see, when did episode 7 come out? Oh. Well hey, you know how long these animations can take, and I mean this guy's giving us high quality here, I'm willing to wait. And he already gave us a, a episode 8 preview, I mean when did the episode 8 preview come out? Hey, alright, that's okay. Charlie and iDubs don't look at Patreon scams anymore, so we've got a little bit of extra time. Although, if I'm being honest with you guys, maybe this won't actually come out. Maybe we got bamboozled, and maybe this will just be one of those Patreon projects which never truly sees the light of day, and we all leave this situation being a little bit wiser with our money. What's that? It, it leaked? Heck yeah, get the popcorn and call Patchy the Pirate, because we're watching this bad boy right now. Five minutes later. That's it? That's the last episode? That was just a bunch of cheap British cartoons. What a rip! Yes, you heard right. These people paid thousands of dollars and waited four entire years of their life for bizarre softcore prawn. Now, I'm almost certain I can't show any of this on YouTube, which is a bad sign. And although it's not the most graphic thing ever, it's 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 it's, it's just insane. Normally, the confinement series follows our cast of characters going through the SCP facility with all of their dangerous abilities and weird eldritch horrors. However, episode 8 is not that at all. E episode 8 is as if Pyrocynical released Petscop 2 when it was just 20 minutes of porn. It's truly confusing, so obviously we had to take a trip to Reddit. You know, to get the, the pulse of the community, to see how they're dealing with this. And judging by the amount of money wasted, amount of time wasted, and probably the fact that the average age of these people is about 16 to 17, I would say that they are not taking it very well. And despite not being an active member of this community, I do have the same lingering questions. Mostly, why? I mean, this makes no sense. I mean, at least if Pet Stop 2 came out and it was 45 minutes of an inflating teddy bear, that'd at least be hilarious. Anyway, as far as fans of confinement are concerned, 
It's Jover. Was it as bad as everyone's saying, or is it just a weird NSFW being exaggerated because of the scam? Can somebody DM me the video? Edit, so not only is it vile. Wow, I can't wait to see what the progress is on confinement after not checking on it for a year now. I mean, this thing is bizarre. It's comically bizarre. In fact, if you didn't pay for it, I would suggest you find it and look at it. It's certainly socially inappropriate, especially for even what it is, but still, it's not violent or graphic in any way. It'd just be like if the secret new leaked Half in the Bag episode was Mike and Jay blowing each other at. There is, however, a complete archive up on YouTube currently, including the eighth episode. However, I'm just not showing any of that here. It's a little, it's a little bit fucky-wucky. Well, I guess the moral of the story is never, ever, ever support independent art. Like, subscribe, bye.